You know, who else is really disgusting and a disgusting human being at that if what is alleged is in fact true? And I have a feeling it is. Just say it. You know what? Uh, look, innocent until proven guilty, but Fannie Willis has a few too many phone calls going back and forth between you and Nathan Wade down there in Fulton County, Georgia. Another one that's just aggressively targeting Donald Trump. And it seems that, um, well, this is uh, backfiring on her in a rather spectacular way because there are these phone records. You know, I was asking you guys the other day, I was like, okay, so how are they getting this? And you were smart. You were like, it's phone records, it's phone records, indeed. So I went and did a little due diligence. They got a lot of records, like thousands of calls that were being made between Fanny and Nathan According to all of these records, and they've employed a private investigator who went and found all this stuff, and now they're trying to get it admitted into court. So all these phone records are there. And um, I'm sorry, but the, the last I checked, you're interviewing a guy for a job. You're not corresponding with him thousands of times and having him come over to your condo 35 times. So at issue here is just exactly when the relationship began. Because if she hired her boyfriend and then went on a bunch of cruises with the boyfriend that he seems to have paid for, well, then isn't he financially benefiting from her position? She literally handpicked somebody that she would then benefit from financially in the job, which would be corrupt, which would be something that she promised not to do. In fact, she's on tape. I played this for you the other day. She's actually on tape saying, you know, we need people who are not corrupt, who are not actually having relationships, or I mean, she was much more crude about it, um, with the people that are working for them, et cetera. It turns out, well, that may be allegedly exactly what Fanny actually did. <laughs> Unbelievable, this is like riveting. That court case was insane. I'd never seen anything quite like it. So the private investigator has all this data, private investigator hired by Trump showing what was really going on. And they had all these phone calls and all these visits. And yet Nathan Wade is like, no, 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 no. The relationship didn't start until after the fact. Watch him here. When did your romantic relationship with Miss Willis begin? 2022. When? In 2022. Early 2022. So you were appointed in November of 2021? Yes, ma'am. And your relationship started early. What's early? January? February? Around March. Around March. But you two met at an October 2019 um, judicial conference, correct? Yes, ma'am. That testimony directly contradicts earlier testimony from one of Willis's former good friends who said the relationship began well before Wade testified it did and predated his hearing by the DA. Um, you have no doubt that their romantic relationship was in effect from 2019 until the last time you spoke with her. No doubt. Did you observe them do things that are uh, common among people having a romantic relationship? Yes. Such as, can you give us an example? Hugging, kissing, this affection. All of work. I can't believe I'm having to play this for you guys. I mean, I really can't. <laughs> it's really, it's it's really weird when we're in a point where the woman who's going after Donald Trump down in Fulton County, Georgia, is so corrupt herself that she's out there allegedly hiring her boyfriend and she's got her friend testifying that they were pretty darn chummy. I mean, wow. Okay, wow. So now the question becomes, can this evidence be admissible in court? I should certainly hope so, because I think this pretty much proves that Fanny was up to no good. And by the way, why hasn't the judge ruled on this one? because she should be off this case. I predict, assuming that we've got quality people here who are making quality, fair decisions, the judge would say, okay, you know what, Fanny, you really can't do this job because, well, you know, this doesn't really look good. And you have clearly some ethical lapses. And so as a result of this, Fanny, you're off the gig. And then the whole office dissolves. And guess what? They're right back at square one, which means that trial's going to get way postponed. This is not looking good.
the appeal in New York, possible disbarment for Fannie Willis, and Jack Smith, well, he's got his own problems. And then you think about Colorado. Colorado has learned the hard way that, no, you can't just actually pick and choose who you want on the ballot, that, that the voters actually do have some say in all of these things. 